it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of March so this is for March 2020 Gemini Sun Moon rising and Venus signs right after this I'm gonna do six months from now so you can check that out as well um, so yeah right after this I do have a few private readings that I have to do and then I'll do that one so just stay tuned for the six months from now reading so what do we have for Gemini for the month of March 2020 we're gonna start right here what do we have for Gemini Gemini I don't know what's going on I see that ace of wands for you so you got that new spark that match that flame that that it's exciting it's a very exciting time it's a time of growth it's a time of fertility there could be something that is growing there's definitely some sort of attraction or intensity you know it's intense it's hot and it's exciting when you get the ace of wands um, so that's what I saw just instantly and the ace of wands is instant sudden okay um, it could be a new sexual partner um, it's a very passionate time in March Ooh, the tower. Disruption. Huh. Well, disruption. So there's some sort of disruption. You can see that um, we need an alignment, right? We need a realignment. Something needs to be realigned. And so the universe, is a universe card, is going to cause a realignment. And it may be uncomfortable. So you are going to probably be dealing with some sort of uncomfortable realignment that is necessary Uh so be prepared for that. This is a necessary change and uh universe is going to help you uh, to get back where you need to be. All right. So be prepared for uh, get prepared to deal with something. OK, you notice like it's like you're blocking, you're blocking something. OK, um, I don't know what it is that you're blocking, but you are definitely blocking something. You see the, the, the hands over the chest. That's, that's I'm not letting anybody in, or I'm not changing my mind, or um, guarding. Um, there's pressure. I think that you're probably under a lot of pressure. You're feeling like you are under pressure. Um, there is definitely a need to open up and to face your fears and to... Uh, unblock yourself in some way it feels like you're blocking your emotions or you're blocking change or you're 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 not giving your heart away maybe that's what it is because you notice that's that's kind of like that could be definitely what it is this is like protecting yourself um there's definitely a discomfort here so you're going to be dealing with an uncomfortable um change put it that way there's going to be a realignment and it's going to be uncomfortable and it may make you feel uneasy and you may feel uncomfortable. You're going to probably feel a lot of pressure, maybe even some pain. OK, I feel like there could be some pain involved here and it even could be physical pain. Because I'm not trying to scare anybody, but it looks like, you know, when you get realigned, it could be painful. Now, some of you may need to go see the chiropractor and get realigned, aligned in that way. But it doesn't have to be a chiropractor. This could be. Um, something else hmm. it feels as though you need to align your head with your heart as well you know right now you know or, or something like that there's something to do with head versus heart Maybe you're you're not being logical in some way. You're very being very stubborn. You need to open yourself up. Maybe you need to fo open up your heart. Something to do with your heart um, and your head. You know, your head may your worries may be getting the best of you. So you're trying to protect yourself. New love. Oh, yeah, that's scary. It is scary new love embrace this new opportunity of love that is here there's a new opportunity of love here and i think that you're pretty damn fearful of it right maybe you're you've been in it for a little bit or whatever and now it's like oh no 
<laughs> that kind of thing. If you haven't been in it, here it comes. Now, if it's not a love relationship, it could be work. It says this may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth as well. There is some sort of new love here that is causing you some... It may even be anxiety. It's causing you some sort of uh, disruption. Okay, now, uh, when you get a new love, whether it is a new work or opportunity or spiritual growth... It is a change, and it's a big change. So I think you are definitely dealing with a big change this month, and you may be wanting to protect yourself. I, I believe that 100%. There could also be some health problems here. i got to throw that out there because I feel like you need to have some health problems. Maybe you need to get a physical. You need to get a check, okay? You need to get... Oh, you could be dealing with an emperor. It flipped right over. It did. It flipped right over. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. This could be an Aries, could be a Capricorn as well. Um, but this is a this is a very uh, protective man. We have a boy and a girl over here. Um, this man is a protector. He is um, family oriented. He's got everything in order. He's a warrior. He has a lot of life experience. Um, looks to me as though he's grounded too. He's got his feet on the ground. He's a boss. Um, this is a masculine. This is the king of all kings. Now, I don't know if this is your energy, if you are a masculine, or this is your new love. Uh, this could definitely be the new love. This is, this is, this is, this could be. This guy is very organized. He's a business owner or a boss or a manager or something like that. And he is very protective. He is dominant. Um, you notice that armor, he has a lot of armor on, so that means he is, he's ready to, he's ready to fight, he's ready to battle, uh, he's unstoppable, he's battle ready, okay, so this guy is ready to fight for, he may even be wanting to fight for you, um, that is the overall energy of this reading, which is crazy, it is absolutely crazy, uh, Six of Cups. Is this some? This could be a past life connection. This could be somebody that you knew in a past life. This is this is could be a soulmate connection. It could have something to do with children as well, because you notice there's two children here and there's two children here, and this is a father. So this is, you may be dealing with somebody that is a father that has two children. Um, it doesn't have to be though. Now this 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 six of cups is is memories of love, reminiscing about love. There could be some really uh, there could be a deep connection here. You may feel like you've known this person forever, or they may feel like they've known you forever. Now that I saw this too before I saw the Ace of Wands. This is seizing a new opportunity. So this is looking forward now, enter, interested in the future, no longer crying over the past. Um, it's the end of stagnation. It's accepting. It's it's no longer being alone. So I feel like that we have somebody here that is, I don't know what it is. It's like, re, it's like falling in love or something like that. Um, now this could be somebody that you've known in this lifetime or somebody in a past lifetime. Five of pentacles reversed. The world. Now we have a new beginning a major new beginning. A cycle of loneliness is over because that's loneliness. It's like there's been a, a lack of love. Somebody wasn't interested. Somebody didn't reciprocate. But now we have a new beginning. Somebody was abandoned and ghosted and left behind. Now this is five of pentacles reversed is uh, light at the end of the tunnel seeing improvements it's a turning point so it's no longer feeling discontent and sad over the past this is a turning point now you have successfully completed that chapter and you're stepping into your, uh, your new life this is a whole new life it's a whole new you there there could also be i don't know if there's some sort of public recognition here and i don't know where that's coming from whole new you whole new beginning you've successfully completed a chapter
If you were feeling alone and abandoned, I feel like that's over. It's over. It's like your your hero is here. This is like your hero or something. Because this is somebody who is a warrior. Nine of Pentacles reversed now. Leaving the past hurts behind. Insecure. We have somebody here that is insecure. Has been alone. But I don't think they're going to be alone. It's the end of loneliness, Gemini. I mean, this is the, the last card in the deck. And this is loneliness. And this is loneliness. And this is feeling abandoned or being abandoned, being ghosted by somebody in the past, but leaving those past hurts behind. This cycle, that cycle is over. It's over. So this month, this, we have this masculine here who is very protective and ready. This guy is ready. He is damn ready. He is. Um... Uh, yeah, he wants to work because we do have a masculine that wants to work. This is work together, teamwork, uh, very compatible, communicative, communicates, respects, appreciates, hard work. I think we have somebody here that is really, he's really going to put in effort to make something successful. Is really a hard worker, very, very dominant, very skilled, very skilled. Yes, we have somebody here that is very skilled. And it's like, so we have this masculine that is very skilled. He's a hard worker. He's going to put in effort. This masculine is going to put in effort. To make something grow, perhaps. Remember, I saw that Ace of Wands and I said new sexual partner. Here we have new love. But we have this Nine of Pentacles, which is... Nine of Pentacles reversed is insecure. Um, distrustful. Afraid of getting hurt. Yeah, we have somebody here that is definitely afraid of getting hurt. Doesn't you know wants to be in a relationship, but is fearful. Has already been through the ringer. It's like the worst has already happened. Now this person doesn't trust. I mean, the nine of wands reversed is great personal fear, avoiding challenge because of previous pain. And it's funny that I said something about a chiropractor. Some of you seriously may be experiencing some back problems where you need to see the chiropractor. We have back problems here and we could have some back problems here. There's definitely a realignment that is needed. But you need to let your guard down. It feels like we have somebody here that has been hurt so bad in the past where they feel like they nearly survived. And now they have this barrier up and you need to let your barrier down. So, Gemini, I feel like, you know, you have an opportunity to start a whole new life. Because this is the end. You've successfully completed that life lesson. And whoever it was that abandoned you from the past wasn't meant to be in your future. Okay, you need to accept that. That happened for a reason. Um, that person did not complete you. And they probably brought your self-esteem and your self-worth down. Okay, the pain that they caused brought your self-esteem and self-worth down. Now it's made you so that you can't trust. You're going to need to find your strength and your ability to unblock yourself and take a risk. I don't even need the, the fool card because if you think about the world card, it's the last card in the deck. What comes next? The new journey. So yes, you've completed that cycle. You've completed that chapter. It is time to let go. With the three of swords reversed, those past hurts. And put effort into the future. So I think that you are going to... And maybe for some of you, you may meet somebody through a job. Okay? Because this could be... And this could be a new job for some of you. Because we see this may per pertain to work opportunities. This is work and this is work. Somebody... Some of you may be becoming a boss. You may be... You may be becoming the boss. It's like you get this raise or you get this status change or... 
um, something like that, you know what I mean? Um, something to do with the past here. Now, this is, maybe it's somebody you worked with in the past, because this is worked with in the past, and it could be a past life. Six of Cups can be past life. So somebody you worked with in the past, perhaps. And maybe this person, and, and, and if it isn't work, it could be somebody that you were in a relationship with because it's like there's been abandoned. Somebody has been abandoned and ghosted and left behind and ignored with the Four of Cups reversed. And therefore, now they don't trust. Now they have their guard up. So I feel like you have a new beginning here. But you're, you're, it's, it's like, and this is a shock. Okay. It's, it's a shock to the system. There is a shock to the system here that makes you be like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I do, I do. I see fear here. Interesting. Ah, you manifested this. <laughs> this is a yes. You manifested this. This is what you asked for. You asked for this emperor, right? And if you are the masculine, you know, you asked for this opportunity, um, if you are the masculine, I think this has to do with a job. I do. I think you, you, if the, if you are the masculine watching this, the masculine Gemini. Okay. I think that, uh, you're getting a new opportunity that you asked for. Now this person takes action to bring success and this one does too. So we could be dealing you know, you could be dealing with another Gemini, Aries, or Capricorn, I feel like this is. But this is somebody who takes action, is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. And uh, now you see the roses. I don't usually see that on this card. There's romance. This does ha so for some of you, this has to do with love. It has to do with romance. It's like somebody has called in a soulmate. And this is a soulmate. So there's a soulmate. There is a soulmate connection here. So if you're with somebody now, it may, it may be your soulmate. Or if you you have this new love, that's just, this is, could definitely be your soulmate. Um, there is definitely a call. Somebody has called in a soulmate. This is what you asked for. Okay. Um, it is. It really, really is. I mean, I can't, I can't even believe it. Um... It's like as above, so below. You asked for it. Here it is. So, Gemini, this is like a partner. It's like you're going to have somebody come in that actually puts in effort and wants to work on it and isn't going to abandon you and is going to protect you. Are you serious? Are you, are you sure about that? Um, now, this person takes action to bring success. Very skilled. This is skilled and this is, we have a very skilled individual here. Very intelligent and committed. Very committed. Very committed. Committed to making this work. Committed, and this person is a good communicator. We'll do anything to make it successful. So whoever you're dealing with, Gemini, you got a masculine here that is willing to do whatever it takes to make it successful. Now, the Ten of Wands reversed is making a conscious change to let go of that baggage that is holding you down. Now, this could be losing weight. May have something to do with losing weight. It could have to do with dropping dead weight. It could be have have to do with letting go of the baggage that was holding you back, the worries, the regrets, the pain, the past. Okay? Because it's dropping it. That's dropping it, letting it go, take getting rid of it, throwing it off the plane, whatever. You know, just just dropping that baggage, dropping that uh those burdens that you have been carrying. It's freeing yourself, making a conscious change. So I think that this is, this is somebody that is, is where this guy, he, he is a protector. He is, uh, very wise and he observes and, um, he's probably going to be putting in effort to help somebody. Uh, maybe it's lose weight or drop weight or open their heart or something like that. There's a lot of hard work here. We have somebody here that is feeling insecure. 
probably hasn't been taking very good care of themselves because of the it's it's like a self protection and this could be you gemini maybe you have been protecting yourself maybe subconsciously protecting yourself but now you got you're at the be very beginning of a whole new life some of you are losing weight you're working on losing weight working on losing weight okay because you're just not feeling worthy you're not feeling good enough you're not feeling strong enough you just down in the dump so you're working on your health and that's why that maybe there's health problems here you're going through some sort of realignment so i feel like this is a month of working on yourself of letting go of burdens and baggage but i also feel like there is a masculine or a partner and if you're the gemini masculine this is probably you that is taking action to bring success in your job in your business whatever um, I do see a lot of success here. I see a successful completion that leads to success where, you know, this burden and this baggage is dropped. I do see success. I think that, you know, it's not going to be easy. I think that you have to take all soul ownership of whatever it is that you're hanging on to and put in a lot of effort to let it go. So I think this month you're going to be letting go of something. And I also feel like you're going to be deeping, deepening a bond with a soulmate. get prepared get prepared for something really good to blossom really something really good to arrive as well okay I, this is focusing on the future you have a bright future ahead of you i think the next three months are going to be about growth and change and that's why I saw that ace of wands and then change so I think that you're going through a major life realignment that is going to be uncomfortable and you're letting go of dead weight and that may be a dead relationship from the past it could be actual weight it could be both I also feel like there is a new love connection or here that is blossoming you asked for it this is what you asked for um Stay tuned for your six months ahead. Good luck.